The mysterious death of Corey Monteith. It's going to take coroner several days to complete the autopsy. We're learning more this morning also about how Glee will go on without him. ABC's Neil Karlinski has the new details from Vancouver. Good morning, Neil. George, good morning. We're outside the hotel where Corey Monteith died this weekend. And take a look at this. The wall of flowers and tributes just continues to grow. That is family and friends just try to grapple with how he died. How could a 31-year-old, very fit and seemingly healthy man suddenly die alone in his hotel room? This morning, the mystery of Corey Monteith's death is being closely examined by investigators, interviewing his friends and trying to get a sense of his state of mind in the days leading up to his death. They'll be very, uh, very in-depth and very thorough in their investigation to determine if it was natural causes that led to death or it was something else that possibly led to that death. A statement from the coroner's office, which is heading up the investigation, says there was no obvious cause of death noted upon initial examination at the scene, adding that toxicology testing is necessary for the determination of the cause and classification of death. That's because Monteith's struggles with addiction, even a recent stint in rehab, are well known to investigators. When I was a kid, I struggled a lot with, with who I was and, you know, where my life was going. Monteith reportedly borrowed from his past for his final movie role, playing a drug-addicted hustler in a gritty and yet-to-be-released independent film called Mechanic. I know it's late. I know you're weary. Meantime, producers of Glee, the show that relied on Monteith, had been preparing to shoot fresh scenes with him for the new season in just weeks, with a large storyline for him specifically. Can Glee move on from this? Yes, but I think it does so with a giant hole. You know, Corey's character so was not only a big piece of that ensemble, but he was also the, the sort of heart and anchor of the show. How they deal with Monty's death will weigh heavily on the show and also be part of the legacy of a talented young man who died far too young. What family and friends are waiting for now are those toxicology results to determine if drugs were in the, his system at the time of his death or if this was something else. Those should take several days at least, according to investigators.